Our next girth is a calf girth. So for this particular girth, we're looking for the largest circumference of the calf. Now the problem we've got with this is the calf has got a medial, a lateral, and a posterior part of it. So there's no one position where we're going to be able to see where the calf is biggest. And that means we're going to be taking multiple measurements and then recording the largest girth that we find. The position that I've got Weston in here, he's got his foot up on the chair, he's got his weight on his back leg, and his calf is in a nice, comfortable, neutral position. We don't want the client driving up onto their toes because that's obviously going to cause their calf to contract. Once again, I'm going to get Weston to pass the tape around his leg. And I will always start near the top of the calf, even though I know that there are bigger girths lower. Once I've taken my measurement, I will move the tape down slightly and I take another measurement. And I repeat this process until I find the largest girth. It's a little bit bigger again. Now the important thing here is that each time I'm measuring this, I'm making sure that the tape is horizontal. Now we've started to get a smaller girth, so I'll edge back up. And that would be Weston's calf girth.